Hi friends, welcome to San Francisco. Let's take some photos. F4, ISO 250, good to go. Switched over to f2.8 pretty quickly when starting because this, this is a pretty busy city or in terms of um, all of the things that can be distracting there's a lot going on in the background Tons of people to work with, makes me very happy. I like the spot. have a diverse group of people walking around here. I like that. So I kind of don't know which direction to go. So we were being told about this place yesterday. It is a coffee shop that serves your coffee with a robot arm or something of that nature. Meet your friendly ro meet, meet, meet your friendly robotic barista. Touch me, I'm gonna knock you out. Touch me, I'm gonna knock you out, nigga. Yeah, bitch, scary ass nigga. It's my city, bitch. Fuck out of my city, bitch. Take your ass back to Oakland, bitch. Bitch ass nigga. Hey, bitch. Hey, bitch. Where you from, bitch? Man needs therapy. Nigga, when I was 17, they used to sell me switch her black and shit, mama. Now they talk about ID. Nigga, since when they ID me, officer? Yeah, I'm a snitch on them. When I was 17, they used to buy me that shit, nigga. What happened, man? So earlier, I work at 7-Eleven as a security. 7-Eleven mm -hmm. down there? Mm -hmm. I work as a security. So I came to tell her, let me buy it, let me carry it, because my, my brother had to go to work. And he just got out. Now, that's why we came over here by a black. I always come here every day. Mm -hmm. So I told her, I work at 7-Eleven, mama, like the old lady, she know me, but the young one don't know me. Okay. I was like, let me take my brother to work, he needed some coffee, I ain't got no cash on me, I'm going to come back and pay mama, I work at 7-Eleven security. She yeah. say, no, you're, you're stealing, I'm like, hold on, I'm not stealing, I'm asking you for a favor, I work down the street. Who were you asking, what was the favor? Let me, let me take this coffee, the small one, I work at 7-Eleven down yeah. the street. Okay. Let me take this for my brother because he needed a coffee to go to work with. Yeah. And then I'm gonna come back and pay her. Oh, okay. So when I came, when or when I was here, she won't, she wouldn't let me. I'm like, hold on. Now she said I got ID. Bitch, you was selling me, yeah. nigga, black and everything when I was 17. You need ID for coffee? No, for for black. Oh, but I'm sorry. I used to always right. get here. That's why I was on buy my black. Yeah, I got you. Can you buy me a black for me? Yeah, I can't buy anything. Yeah, for you, man. cause you're outside. You don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing for you, man. But, but what about the other guy? You're mad at the other guy too. She need to get fired, mama. Hey, we got camera outside. Ah, uh, she need to get fired. She broke. She broke. You're broke, bitch. You work at 7-Eleven, bitch. Mama, you're good, mama. She broke. Since when you ID me, mama? That's a police right here. Since when you ID me? <laughs> Another Since police. 
He got the camera on. I'm not a police. <laughs> you always let me buy black shit. Oh my gosh. I am documenting. <clears throat> I don't know what. This guy is gonna do. They yeah. need to get fired, bro. When I was 17 or 15, I used to buy my black cube. They never ID. Nah, you're not, because you got the camera on. Nigga, I know what I'm doing. I'm no, I'm Officer. just a photographer, man. Hope you have a good day, alright, man? 72, man. This is my city. Yeah, what was your name? Monty. M O N T Y. Okay, alright, I'm James. You can scan it or show my picture. What's, what's my name here? Yeah. Alright, man. Have a good day, man. I just texted my wife. <laughs> 50 minutes in, I almost caught a fight on camera. <laughs> You start in trouble again, man? No. Oh, he's buying me a. He's buying me a stuff. Yeah, if, if, if I will, just be a good person. Don't fuck with any more Asian people, man. Oh, the Asian one? Don't do that again. That's not cool. I told him what I did back in the day. That's why. Yeah, don't do that. That's no good, man. Yeah. <laughs> Look at he said that's no good. It's no good. Yeah. That's man. what I'm saying. Ah. Hey, let me, boom. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask Look you. Look no. at all I gotta do is pull out my jeans, and I'm gonna give you one year. You gonna. You're going to sleep. No, okay, okay. So let me ask you a question, yeah. man. Like, I understand. I'm you, going home. I'm wait, I'll wait fine. for my bus. No, just, okay, that's fine. But like, if people don't give you coffee. Let me hit you, that, you're, try, you're trying to get a coffee for free. No, right? I was trying to get the. I'm sorry, not for free. I was trying free. to get the Wi-Fi. No, no, and, no. I'm talking about back over there. No, but I was going to pay him back because I work at 7-Eleven. Right now, I'm going to go home and come that. put my uniform on and go work at 7-Eleven. I get that. The one down the street. I get that. But like, what if they what if they don't want to give you anything? That's up. To, that's up to them. Why you gotta right. yell at him? Like, right. I guess what I'm no, saying is, the listen, only reason why listen. I yell because they try to, they try to look at me like they pass me, like their life is important. And your life is not that important, okay. mom. But, but Anybody wait. around here, their hold life on. is not important in my life. I know, but hold on. Well, well, They're not important. But why you gotta make everybody else's day hard? Because worse. the stuff that they answer back, they yeah, like dumbest you, answer. Yelling at around. people and like yelling at them. Yell. Everybody, no, el everybody else around my them. My brother, my brother. Listen, okay. I, I walk by and I go, what's this guy about to do? I don't want to have to watch you lay somebody out because you're mad. No, I don't, I don't do that no more. That's going to jail. That's good, man. That's can't, real good. I can't. But, look but, it. But even yelling, dude, it if, just makes if, everybody. Look it. If I want you, it makes everybody I'll let tent. you touch me first and I'm going to knock you out. We on camera. That's what I do. Okay. Every time I let them touch well, me first. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> good, but listen, but that makes everybody more tense when you're yeah. yelling, man. Yo, all the police over here know me. That's fine. Okay. It doesn't matter, though. It makes everybody more tense, you know? Like I want. I can't even use. Like why can't we just all have a good time? If they don't want to sell you something. No. They don't want to sell you something. Wi-Fi. There's, Over a, here's a there's wifi. other 7-Elevens, man. Like you said, you work at one. I work down the street. Here. Yeah. No, but I was asking a girl at 7-Eleven. Come on, you're the same company as me. Yeah. Let me let me borrow this and I'll come back and pay. Yeah. You know, but she took it as the wrong way. I should have never opened my mouth, just like what you said. Mm. I should have just shut up and walk away. You know. Yeah. Like, but it is how we live. I, 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 I want did, you to raise your blood six, pressure, man. I want you I to live long. I, I live. I live <laughs> six. I live. I live my whole life six years in jail. Yeah. I don't want to go to jail no more. Why I can't just you know do yeah. what's right? I, I am doing the right thing. I'm, I, it's just that. That's good. I'm glad you're not. It's just in jail, that man. people awesome. always think they are ahead of me. You're not ahead of me. I got. I went to jail. I came back. Yeah. My money's still under the bed. Yeah, but people are. Are you ahead of me? No, you're not ahead of listen. me. I'm still ahead of y'all. Yeah, but it, it's just that I oh, play along. But listen, people are assholes. They're gonna do that all your life, man. So why being asshole if you're working? It doesn't matter. Treat your cup. No, you treat your customer right. I understand that. I went her as a customer. I said, yo, so but my brother. I hope you find your Wi Fi. I will. Have a great day. Be hey, nice. No, no, thank you We're so much. Good. Boys. Everything's good, man. Life's yeah. good. I know it is, man. Just try to be good. Thank man. you, boss. You will. Yeah. Take care, man. Be good, right? This guy right here, he's good too. Okay. I try. He's the one that walk around us <laughs> take care of the whole city. I try. <laughs> hey, get out of here, man. Have, have a good day, all right? <laughs> Apparently, I take care of the whole city. A funny circumstance around this photo walk is I'm wearing a new chest strap that I bought today at Best Buy. And the reason why I bought this uh, 
Yeah. The reason why I have a new chest strap is because I realized, to my great terror, once arriving in San Francisco, that I left my chest strap in Salt Lake City. There's a few reasons why we're in San Francisco, but one of the major ones was to make sure I could do a photo walk or two here. So we bought another chest strap. I wonder what people think is happening whenever I'm talking to myself while walking. The good news is that's not particularly abnormal in cities. I like this building. I really like the architecture. So I guess... How lovely. Oh, I'm entering the shopping district. Oh, puppies. What's up, man? Is GoPro. GoPro? Yeah. Oh, really? They're making a new one now. Yeah, yeah. Now, I remember they had the chest mount and for the old ones. Right. So this is the newest one? Yeah, so have you heard of 360 degree cameras? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a Ryko one before. It's got a CP look right there. It's got one on the back, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, yeah. So, like, if I were. Yeah, I, you can do it. I can do it all the way around. Yeah, yeah. I do street photography, so I, I just oh, walk yeah, around and take photos of interest. Are you local? People, no, I'm actually from Salt Lake City. I'm oh, visiting. No, no. I've been there before. Yeah, I haven't oh, been able yeah. to do one in uh, uh, San Francisco yet, so I thought yeah, I'd yeah. get no, around to it. No, it's a very photographable city. I mean, I'd the problem say, is there's too much stuff to take pictures of. Because if you're a real photographer, yeah. you know there's pictures inside of pictures inside of, of pictures. Course. Sometimes I feel like, like I don't like pe people taking pictures of me. So, yeah. And that's kind of absurd being a photographer. Yeah. But, you know, like... I think as long as you understand what people like me are up to, you know, well, like I'm not are, trying to exploit people. Well, but yeah, if you're trying to just take a natural photo of somebody though, yeah. you know, and then they see you, it's well, like, you know, people too. get weird. What I, what I like to do and what I'm, uh, what I'm hoping will, will be able to sustain me one day as I make YouTube videos as well. That's why I have oh, this yeah, thing yeah, on. So I just capture yeah. my oh, photo totally, walks. I mean, people like, love it, man. But just, just watching the random. They well, love, they I'm love the, watching my creative process. Yeah. That's what it is. They oh, love I watching see. how I go about taking oh, photos. So that's kind of there's a lot of people like me. Exactly. I'm recording it. outward. Yeah, and it's catching you taking your po photos. Right. And... Like a, it's like a first person perspective oh, on totally. my process. Yeah. San Francisco is pretty wild. I mean, we have a lot of unique things that go on here that don't happen anywhere else in the in the in the United States, maybe in the world. Mm, every uh, I've learned that every city has an energy and a character to it. Yeah. San Francisco's way different than like a New York City. Yeah, it's changed a way lot. Way different. Oh, totally. And it's changed a lot. Like, when I was a kid, I mean, it was... I liked it better back then. Yeah. It's a mess now. We got a lot of problems. All right. And everybody's on this good vibes thing, so nobody wants to think about or talk about problems. So they just keep getting bigger because nobody's trying to solve them. Yeah. You know, everybody's... That'll not, happen. Yeah, yeah like, I mean, goes. I'm sorry. Sometimes you got to think about and, and deal with the negative attributes of life to solve the problem. Yeah. You know, but everybody's on this good vibes that's, that's only. What, right. I don't want to look at that. And I don't right. want to think about that. That's oh, why okay. we need people that to have the vision to catch them when they're small. Yeah. You know? Something. 
yeah. I still love the place, even though it drives me crazy a lot of the time. Huh? <laughs> Sounds like a good sibling, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a mess. I mean, it is. The city's a mess. Ronald Reagan, when he was governor of the state of California, closed all the mental health facilities in California and kicked them all out in the street. Yeah. Then all the so-called innovation, you know, with the robots and the automation that take people's jobs. Uh -huh. So now that created another layer of homeless people. Uh -huh. And then the sure. sky high rents from all the tech companies moving here. And that added another layer of homelessness. Mm. And so the same people that take your job walk down the street looking at you like trash, treating you like trash, like get a job. It's like, well, you took my last job, you know, like, I mean, yeah. it's just sad. And then I think with the hopelessness comes the drug addiction. Right. So we've got needles Me everywhere. Meaninglessness too, I feel oh, totally. like. You, you know, you know how, how do you feel when you lose everything you worked hard for all your life? You feel... Yeah, yeah, like wow. I think it's way deeper than money. I think that's the thing oh, that no, people totally, but put so much emphasis into getting them more money and getting them shelter. And I think it's so much deeper than that. Oh yeah. Doing what I do, I, I think about homelessness a lot. And yeah, me too. I, uh, it's, it's really screwed up this city. It's pervasive, and I don't. I, I feel like it's a. It's the more I think about it, the more I don't feel like I know what to do about it. You know, it's yeah. it's, it's a deep it's a deep problem. It really is. It's big. Yeah, I don't know what the answer is. Yeah, it sure ain't none of the stuff they've been trying so far. Mm. All right, man. Well, I'm gonna get on. Yeah, no doubt. Paul, right? Yeah, Paul. All right, James. Yeah, yeah I'll hit you up on there. All right, pleasure to meet you, man. Have a good day, okay? pattern of the grating on the ground here as I'm walking it's it's making my eyes freak out I'm on the sidewalk so I don't have a seizure was very talented and she was showing a lot of emotion good stage presence hi apartment james here now i have some more photos to share with you from the san francisco trip uh, these photos were going to be accompanied by gopro footage as usual but I had an issue. So after, uh, well, at some point in the trip, we decided to go to Baker Beach, which is a, uh, a famous beach for taking photos of the Golden Gate Bridge. Very beautiful area. When we arrived there, I strapped on my GoPro like usual. I used the GoPro Max, and the GoPro Max has lens caps on it. It's a 360 degree camera, so we have uh, cameras on both sides. Lens caps, very useful. The problem with the lens caps is that, you know, j just as as historically has been true with every camera ever, sometimes they get left on the camera. So this is what the footage from Baker Beach looked like, all of it. This is a place called Baker Beach. With that said, while there, I did get some photos that I was very happy with, and I still want to share them with you, GoPro or not. One photo I captured was this one. We have a beach scene, some houses up on a ridge. I love the atmospheric quality and the, the misty quality that happens the further away from the camera we get. Uh, I love the depth I was able to create with the slope in the foreground with the vegetation on it, people walking around for scale, and houses as well. But if the people weren't there, the houses could be the size 
of of planets, you know? And we wouldn't know. So that's why people are important. We have another one with some surfer folks sitting on the beach relaxing in the foreground. Looks like they're having a lovely conversation. In the mid ground, we have a skimboarder standing there watching waves, looking for the right one to come in. I took a lot of photos of this guy. And then in the background, we have some beautiful mountainous terrain. Where I come from, you don't see a lot of mountainous terrain on the other side of the ocean. It's just, it's just ocean. So I, I always love when I'm, I'm able to come across that and enjoy that. I like the expressions I captured in this photo. We have the two people talking to each other. We have a hand gesture from the guy on the right. And then the, uh, the skimboarder is crossing his legs, leaning on his board in a very aesthetically pleasing way. The waves are also doing a nice thing. Another photo of just the skimboarder this time, still waiting for a wave. Um, the layering that was created with the previous photo is not present here. And you can feel a difference in the photos because of that. I still love this photo. The other one had something different going on. With this one, I turned to the right. So we have a more mountainous background. We have the guy in mid stride and uh, some lovely waves as well. And this photo is a great example of the importance of working the scene. We've been taking photos of this guy in similar positionings to this from different angles up until now. This is where everything kind of locked in and we got a photo that I, I think was really strong. Everything from the background to the ocean, the positioning of the water, to him leaning on the board, his arm leaning over the separation between him and the board where it's important. Uh, it's, it's strong and you really get a sense that he's waiting for something. I love that. Then we have the action shot. Now this one I cropped quite a bit. This was the original cropping. And uh, cropping in I think really added a lot of intrigue and excitement to the photo. I love how he's carving through the water and leaving a wake behind him. And his angle of attack on the wave you get this sense that something's really happening here. There's a lot of action. In this one, we have the first sighting of the Golden Gate Bridge. I started working in the bridge with him in the foreground. It was inevitable, of course. And I'm so happy that I was able to get shots of the bridge, but also including a human element as opposed to just getting the quintessential Golden Gate Bridge shot, which has been created 972,645,000 times. There's a website that will tell you that. It's called How Many Times Has the Golden Gate Bridge Been Taken Without a Person in the Foreground uh, Creating a Sense of Humanity with the Human Element dot organization. Very quickly, I must mention, to the right, to our me and Christina's great surprise, was a uh, clothing optional beach. And I got close enough to see what looked like an entire body full of skin. And I thought, Hmm, that person might not be wearing clothes, but I couldn't tell, so I took my camera. This is a great trick if you're ever wondering about something far away. Snapped the photo, zoomed in as tight as I could. Um, I think uh, that's how you should do it properly, right? So you can get the maximum, anyway. Uh, and then I looked at the photo on the back of the screen, zoomed it in real tight, and sure enough, I saw a couple of butt cheeks. And so there were naked people roaming around and I had to crop them out of a few of my photos. So we have our friend here in an excellent mid running stride. Both of his feet, yeah? Both of his feet are not on the ground. Very good, I'm happy about that. I love how the board is extended way out in front of him. Good form, I think. Uh, and then we, of course we have the bridge in the background. I wish I had the bridge to bring with me everywhere so that it could always be my background. Another shot shortly after of him walking back up after having some level of success or lack thereof with a wave. Normal photo of the bridge, lame. I actually did get a comment a while back that said, photos without people in them are boring. And uh, I beg to differ. I follow many a photographer on Instagram that shatters that notion. Indubitably. This one's silly. Another shot of the guy flying through the air. I don't know which one I like better out of this one and the other one. They're both on equal playing fields. I love the, the action and intensity. Then I started taking some photos of just the bridge, working the scene. And one of the variables that I was playing with was the water and what it was doing. I took one from a landscape angle here, and I took one from a portrait angle here, letting more of the, the beach sand in. And then another one where the water 
uh, landscape angle again, where the water is a bit more turbulent. And then I took one with fishing poles in the foreground, and then I got a little closer to the bridge, more turbulent water. The lighting on the bridge is quite different in this one. And then one where the water was smacking into the rocks. That was something that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that, playing around with that. We got closer, me and my wife took some photos. Uh, she was filming. And so I put her in the foreground, put her in focus for one shot while there was some crazy sea foam action happening. And I put her out of focus, playing around with that, uh, focusing on the sea foam. And then we have one coming towards her. She's making a face, kind of looking away. And then she turns, looks at me with the water coming to kill her. And then one where she's running away. Good times. Uh, then I have a portrait with her. I wanted to get just a nice shot with the ocean and the rocks in the back background. And I took two photos where her face was impressively exactly the same. And one where it was splashing and flying off the rock and then one where it was kind of morphing around the rock, which I thought was interesting. I put her head on the rock, the dark spot there. Then I took a couple of photos of a sailboat coming by, putting it in roughly the center of the frame with the rocks around it as a foreground element and then the mountains in the background. And once again, I was playing with the positioning of the waves. And then that is all the photos that I took during the, my time in so South Francisco. One moment. My lips are far more chapped today than I realized. This is a catastrophe. I thoroughly enjoyed my time in San Francisco, including the food. And the city has an interesting character, although the people and I'm gonna use a word that I heard from one of the guys we were working with. We were there for multiple reasons. One of the reasons was for me to go on photo walks. One of the reasons was because we were working on a crowdfunding campaign video. I was exercising the, uh, the video side of my talents. And the owner of the company that we were making the video for, I was, I was talking to him about some of my frustrations with the people in San Francisco. And he said that the people there are prickly. And I thought that there is not a better word in the dictionary for the people in San Francisco from what, uh, from my short period of time there. They were very aversive and uh, quick to be offended whenever a camera was involved. And apparently in general, according to him. At one point while we were there, I was filming some B-roll for the video we were working on and it was of the public and I was capturing some people coming up an escalator in a, in, um, a uh, train station, underground train station, the BART as they call it. And there were some children that happened to be on this escalator. And with those children was a woman. I think she was sort of a, like a teacher caretaker of sorts for the children. And she yelled at me from the escalator about uh, filming the kids. And I thought this wouldn't happen this way in New York City. <laughs> uh, New York, people in New York City, don't tend to care too much if you're taking a photo of them or filming them, generally speaking. They don't really tend to care too much if you're there. They don't really notice you, let's put it that way. But in San Francisco, whenever I had a camera pointing in the direction of humans, they were all watching me like a hawk. And I've been doing this for a while, so I can feel the differences in, differences in, in environments. And I could feel it very strongly in San Francisco. It was quite odd. It was an unusual amount of paying attention to me. That is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you hit the like button, that means a lot. And if you comment below, I would be happy to engage with you. You can find me at uh, on Instagram and Twitter at James the Red. I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.